Hi everyone, so here we are. This is the first real lesson about Django. And in this video, I would like to give you some basic information about models and the fields of the model. So what are the models in Django? Uh, basically, you can think about model as a database table. And not only you can think about uh, it in this way but uh, each model actually maps to a different database table so to explain how it works in more details let's try to create a model for example each well, almost each almost every website uh, needs some table to store user information so let's create the model called user and this model, uh, this class user will inherit from models model. And this actually, this inheritance from models model makes this class a model. Okay, so the next thing that we can define are the fields of the model. For example, every user can have a first name and second name. So first name will be again uh, here we need to define uh, here we need to define the type of the model there are a lot of different types that we can use and basically you can find it in uh, this web page this is the fields reference and here you can find different field types I, of course, will not go through each of them and, you know, a lot of them is, uh, a lot of these fields are self-explanatory. You can tell what they mean by their names. But, of course, uh, it, would be, it would be nice if you just go through them by yourself. Uh, you just sh you should you should just go to this web page and uh, try to understand uh, what different field types are there. And next time, for example, if you need to define if you need to define some uh, field for email of the user, you can you will just remember. Oh, there is actually a mail field, and I can use that. And Basically, what email field uh, will be, it will inherit from char field and it will also use email validator in order to validate that the data that user provides is actual email. And this is really helpful. So yeah, there are really a lot of different um, field types and uh, for now, we need char field. Char field is basically a string field. And that's exactly that we need for our first name. So we will say that we need char field. And here uh, we, we can actually tell some information about this field. And for a char field, actually, we have to define uh, one thing. And uh, here we actually need to define the amount, the maximum amount of letters that we can use for our first name. And to do that, we, tr we should just say max length, for example, 30. And second name will be basically the same. So and there, you know, you can you can just uh, decide by yourself what fields do you need. Uh, for example, maybe you need a field for registration date. And again, you can just go to model field reference and, you know, where is it? Okay. You can have date field or if you need also the time, you can uh, specify that uh, this is date time field. And yeah, basically everything that you need, you can find here. So uh, let's say that this is enough for now. 
as I said in the beginning, each model is actually, you can think about each model as a database table and each model actually maps to a particular database table. In our case, uh, the name for this table will be the name of the application, Django application, which is models guide here. models guide and underscore user and this table will have id uh, that will be uh, defined automatically it will have first name and second name so yeah uh, when you define this uh, model the database table will be actually created Okay, so anytime you create a new model and anytime you make any changes to the model, well, okay, let's start, uh, let's start in the beginning. So let's say we just created application models guide and we defined our first model. So what do we need to do to actually enable it? Well, we will need to go to settings and by default uh, installed apps will look like this but we will need to add our application name which is a models guide and also just uh, one small thing as I said uh, every model actually maps to a database table and for now well, as a default database we use SQLite 3 and we can we can actually change it but that will be the other lesson